Hey, welcome back. Uh, in this video, uh, I wanted to turn, I wanted to go to Windows 11, and it said I don't have my uh, TP, TPM module. I don't have that turned on. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn that on. I just found out. I thought it'd make a nice video. What I have, the PC I have, is the uh, Skytech Gaming Shiva and it's a good model it has the uh, 360 Ti uh, graphics card in it and but it's for the Skytech Shiva so if you own the Skytech Shiva and this is like two years old and so it was like uh, in 20 the end of 2020 I bought this so if you're Skytech is Windows 10 and you want to go to Windows 11 and it's telling you you can't do it then uh, hopefully this will help you out okay so what you have to do and I wrote some, some notes here down here and what you first thing you want to do and this is my gaming thing uh, we're actually looking for FTPM a little research and I found out that's the one you gotta look for and what you want to do first is either hit the Windows plus the R key and that'll open up a run box. Uh, you can do it that way, but if you got the one I got, you can also do a quicker one. And uh, all you got to do is go at the bottom right here. Okay, here's the, here's the screen. And we're going to go to the bottom right here. Go right here to this bottom and click inside that box so it knows where to type okay and then what you want to type is ms m i mean yeah ms info i n f o 32 right there ms info 32 and then hit your enter key and it will pop up right here. This is going to tell you that you have Windows 10 Home. And then you scroll down and look at this. Will do all your you know security boot states off. You want looking for all the security things. Okay, device right here in device. Here it is, device encryption support. It failed because because TPM's not uh, enabled. So, automatic device encryption. You know, even if you're not going to go to Windows 11, I would turn this on because, like, I have an Android phone and it talks to my PC, and that data in between is not encrypted. This, turning this on, will encrypt that data that's traveling through the internet unscrambled. So what it does, and I looked it up, it's uh, TPM uh, 2.0. It stands, for, T stands for trusted, P is uh, platform platform and M is module so TPM trusted platform module and what it does it is it uh, protectively shakes hands with your devices and that enables BitLocker for data uh, encryption protection so pretty important I think today it wasn't a few years ago but now all your devices are starting to talk to each other so it's very important I think to turn this on very good feature and uh, so that'll tell you data encryption supports not enabled so we can get out of here now I just want to give you the background yeah I looked up all these PC health how to do that if you want to know how to do your PC health check uh, what I did is I just highlighted this highlighted this right here highlighted it I right clicked on it and I hit copy and then I went back down to my search and I clicked inside then I right clicked and I hit paste and I hit my enter key and it 
came up with PC Health at a glance. And all you do is you check, introduce an 11, see if it's capable, and you hit uh, check now, it runs a check. One thing isn't, but I'm gonna put, you know, check all of them. And everything else is supported on this PC. The only thing is it's the TPM 2.0. It's gotta be supported in order to get Windows 11. <clears throat> so, so then I researched some more and we came to right here how to enable how to enable um, TPM on your PC and I read down through here I read all this it's just telling you how to hit the run box and uh, how to enable right here this helped me out here because these are the key words I was looking for what what I was looking for I knew I had an AMD processor in this so I was looking for something with the FTPM and it says again FTPM so I knew what I was looking for okay so then you know, I found out how to enter the BIOS when you reboot um, you hit the delete key so well let's skip to the steps I wrote out a little cheat sheet uh, 10 simple steps and we're gonna have you uh, ready for Windows 11 uh, first you restart your PC okay how you do it is you come up here and you click this and you hit your little power knob and you see power you click on power and you hit restart I'm not gonna restart it just yet because when it restarts uh, give it time we'll give it time to shut down but then you're gonna click the delete button and hold it in and that's gonna quickly enter your BIOS you've got to get into your BIOS and then once you're in your BIOS you got to make sure we'll we'll get in the BIOS let's go in in the BIOS first so we're gonna do step one restart then we're gonna do step two hold down the delete and that's gonna hopefully get us into the BIOS let's do that okay again let's get out of here let's uh, let's shrink no, let's, let's leave that up um, it doesn't matter if that window's open. When it restarts, it'll restart everything just as you had it, so it's perfect. So let's hit restart. It's restarting. Now you gotta look at this and right, find your delete. Hover over the delete key and then check this out. You got your finger over delete. See the delete? And then check the restart. And don't wanna hit it yet. Don't hit your delete yet. Okay, ready? You're gonna see that the monitor's out and you'll see right down here. Okay, now hit the delete, hold it down. Boom, you're into BIOS. You did it, that was that simple. It's that simple, restart and give it time to actually restart and once it actually goes blank and it says it has no uh, monitor, has no uh, information coming into it, then it means it's restarting and as soon as you see that uh, message you can hold down on the delete and it pops this up. This is the BIOS for the Skytech Shiva. All right, let's go back to our directions now. Okay, once you're in the BIOS, we're in it now. Make sure it's not on easy, but you want to click advanced. So at the top of the screen, we're in the BIOS right here along the top. You'll see easy mode. Now, if it, this is easy mode. This here is easy mode. Let me back up so you can see. This is easy mode. You don't want easy mode. You want to make sure that this is clicked on and it's in advance. Okay, you want to see easy mode here. That means you, you're in advanced and the only place you can go is easy. So now you're in advanced. Okay, we're in step three. So we don't need that page. Okay, click on CPU. So come up here, click on your CPU. Make sure that's highlighted. See how it's highlighted? It's off and now it's highlighted. 
Okay, we're, we did step four. That was super easy. Now step five, click on settings. And then settings is right under CPU. So you click on your settings. This opens up this. Now number six, we're flying through this. This is so easy, guys. Don't even sweat it. It's nothing. Uh, click on security. So let's, this opened up and we're gonna go down to security and just click on it. It opens this up. Okay, we're on step seven already. This is super fast. There's no reason not to do this. Uh, click on trusted computing. So you're up here and uh, we just click there. We're going on to trusted computing. Click that. Whoa, we're already here, guys. Um, trusted computing and then enable trusted device support. So we got to find trusted dis security device support. It is disabled. That's why you couldn't do Windows 11. And the simple solution is you click on that. It opens up a box. This disabled. You want to enable. Make sure that's enabled. Now we enabled it. Now you click on the X to exit. So go up here. Click on the X to exit, and you'll get this box. This box opens up, and uh, it says save and configure and exit. So this is where you save your, it's just told you you went from disabled to enabled. You want it this way. Now click yes. Your computer will restart, and you just did it. It's that simple. Yeah, look at you did it. Reboot, it's rebooting, you're done. Now you can go back and download and install Windows 11. That's all there is to it, guys. No signal, it'll bounce back, comes back. Super, super easy, guys. You can do a little Windows 11 now. I'm gonna make sure, because I haven't, I haven't gotten this far. So I'm gonna make sure that it says it's able. I'm not gonna do Windows 11. I think you guys can handle that, but getting here, getting here now, to find out if you're done again, you wanna go down, where is it? Uh, PC Health. So what I do is I just find the words PC Health, and I highlight it, and I right click, and I copy, and I go back down to my search, and I click inside the search, so that's blinking, and I right click, and I hit paste, and then I hit my enter key, and this pops up. PC at a glance, now check it. Let's hopefully it fixed it. Whoa, this PC meets Windows 11 requirements now. See all the results. There it is, Secure Boot, boot is now, everything is supported. It's enabled on this PC, everything. You're done, you're done. Now, to get the Windows download, I'll show you how to do that. I'm not gonna show you the, bore you with the window. I think you guys can figure that out if you got this far. Um, what you wanna do is go into settings. And right here, it'll say update and security. You want to update? Okay, it says does not. Well, guess what? Let's check for updates now. Let's check now. Okay, PC health. How come it's not letting me? Check, 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 check. How come? All right, this is running into some issues. What's going on here? Okay, um, Windows updates, Windows security, storage, learn more, advanced options, what's that? Okay, why doesn't this, it says it meets it, but... Alright, I'm going to figure this out and I'll come back on and I'll attach it to the end of this video because I didn't get this far so I didn't know it was going to be an issue. But I'll figure it out and then I'll come back and tell you guys what I had to do. Alright, out. Alright, welcome.
welcome back figured that out that was super easy um what you have to do is you physically have to go back and reboot your computer you hit power hit restart once it came back up i went back in and i made a list i was going to try a bunch of stuff but it, i hit it on the first thing reboot your pc did it work yes so now i rebooted it i hit this i restarted it came back up i hit settings i, I hit settings i hit um update security and boom that's what i was hit with now i can update my pc and check device let's check it let's check it yes it hits all the requirements it's reading everything and so everything's set to go um so boom this is it so you can uh, basically um let's say certain apps features may have additional requirements but yeah now it's it's ready it can run it now so now it's just a matter of uh doing the update hit the update Hit the update. There it is. Windows 11. It's the newer version. Uh, and it's free. Guys, it's free. So you have to download and install. Uh, I'm going to do that myself. I don't think... It's going to walk you through it. So uh, I think I can leave you now. And hey, if you... Uh, I made a page up here. Uh, thank you for watching. And to thank me, please subscribe to my channel. Doug Doing Almost. Thank you. And until next time, guys. Out.